Hey guys, welcome back to Heart Breathings. I am ridiculously excited to show you the setup of what is truly my dream A5 binder. I've been wanting this for a couple of years now, and this is actually the design that got me back into A5 planners, but I didn't get a chance to actually buy it when it was originally on sale. So I'm excited to show you the setup of this new Life is Wonderful planner from Kiki K. Okay, so the story on this particular binder, this is an A5 leather binder from Kiki K, and they came out with this design in, I believe, 2018. Maybe it was all the way back in 2017. I'm not exactly sure, but somewhere around there, I can look it up. They came out with this beautiful, it's almost like a lavender pink color with these red accents, and it has a woodsy sort of design or feel to the front of it with this gold foiling. So it has butterflies and leaves and different things like that. And it says life is wonderful here on the front. But the main reason when I got an email from Kiki K that I wanted this particular planner is because it has dragonflies on it. If you don't know my story about dragonflies, I will link to the video where I explain why that is such an important thing for me, why dragonflies have so much significance in my life down below if you're interested in that. But basically dragonflies flies reminded me to come back to my joy of writing and really changed my life at a time when I needed it most. So dragonflies are huge for me. I love them. And when I saw this planner, I had been art, like in a bunch of different planners and really not feeling happy with the planner system I was using. And I just knew I needed something different and I couldn't quite figure out what I needed. And if you know me at all, you know that my planning systems, I take them very, very seriously and they really support me in getting a lot of stuff done. And so when I don't have a great planning system, system set up, I just feel lost. So when this came out, I was like, oh my gosh, what if I could go back into an A5 binder? Because I had used A5 binder all the way back in like 2015 and 2016. And then I abandoned it for things like an Erin Condren coiled planner or Hobonichi and trying lots of different systems. And finally, because of this planner came back to using A5, which if you've been following me for a while on this channel, you know, this is my main every single month I set up a new A5 binder and my entire HB90 planner system all of my main work even though I use lots of different planners for other things all of my main work in my business goes into this planner so it's my like ride or die <laughs> and unfortunately when I went to go buy this originally like by the time I made the decision yes I'm going to go into the A5 binders again this particular pattern was sold out and it totally broke my heart but I mentioned it uh, about a month ago or so on the channel that I was looking for this. I already had like one of the notebook covers, but I didn't have the actual binder that I was looking for it. And I had so many people, I'm talking like a hundred people <laughs> messaged me with a link to this binder on eBay and various other places on the internet. And I was able to buy this from a vendor in Australia who sent this to me very quickly and it arrived safely and gorgeously. So I was just waiting to set it up for July. And so here we are. So long intro there, but that is the story behind why this is truly my dream planner. I've been wanting it for years, literally years, and I'm so happy to have it and so excited to actually have set it up and show it to you now. So it has, like I said, this kind of, it's pink, but it's like a lavender pink and it has red accents to it here. And if you actually were to use the inserts that came with it, those tabs also had um, red is kind of coralish red color on them. But because I use all my own inserts, I took all of the insert stuff out of it. I did save it because I might end up using those tabs later and set it up for myself. So you can see kind of here's a sneak at the like the setup, but I wanted to pull this red in because I really love the way pink and red look together. So I wanted to pull in the red. Um, so I pulled out my other favorite love in this world, which is Hello Kitty. And so I pulled out a lot of Hello Kitty to use in this planner setup to bring in that red. So you'll see kind of, I'll walk you through some of this setup. 
I also have this um, keychain down here that says life is wonderful. I got this when I originally bought the thing. So the binder was sold out, but they still had some other things in this pattern. So one of them was this pin, which sadly only has like one dragonfly on it, I think, but it does have the dragonfly. So I've had the pin for a while. I've had this life is wonderful, um, very kind of heavy uh, keychain, but I like to put it on the end there of my planner. And now I can actually combine them with the real planner itself so that makes me super super happy so let me show you how I have this planner set up okay so the opening part of the planner I set it up like a couple of different times and was trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with it and like I said I finally decided I wanted to pull in some of these red elements so I went looking through basically all my boxes so I have tons of drawers and boxes that have just random like sticky notes and um, page flags and just different things that I've collected throughout the years so I also combine that with what I use almost every month like literally almost every month which is planner presses digital dash box which is a um, digital subscription box it's about ten dollars a month and you get a bunch of different like dashboard designs and different accessories that you can print things out yourself and laminate them and do a setup if you guys would actually like to see maybe next month the entire setup of how i print everything out cut them laminate and you want to see the whole process of how i put together my a5 setup every month let me know if you want to see that more than just a flip through but basically this is the um the planner pouch for the month where you just print the front and back sides and it kind of is like a zippered pouch that says you're exactly where you need to be and then you laminate the two pieces together and then cut the top off which creates this little pouch and I usually keep my stickers that I use the most here in this pouch and then I will stick it in the pocket in the back so that's the first thing I have over here I also have like I said some red accents and some other things so this is just a little like teardrop thing from Martha Stewart home office from Avery that I got at Office Depot years ago but I love the little teardrops of red against this pink I also have this little get it done magnet that came from really cheap from like Tuesday morning a few years ago. This is one of my favorite things that I added <laughs> to the little planner setup. This actually is a little like keychain type thing that I don't know what you call this little chain that I got from gosh Hello Kitty when they had maybe I can't remember but maybe 2015 or so I'm not sure when, but they had a collection a while back that was like just plain color. So it's like just blue, just yellow, just red. And one of the little keychains that I bought was this with just a white Hello Kitty. She's all white. And then it just had the red chain. And so I pulled the Hello Kitty herself off because it would be hard to put that inside the binder. But I was able to snake this chain through the zipper here. And so I've got my little Hello Kitty bow there and it says Arigato everyone, which I just think is so cute. Um, another thing that I have down here, I have just, this is a little sticker that I got from AliExpress, but I haven't pulled the backing off. So I'm just using it as a little decor piece over here and some little pineapple book uh, pineapple paper clips that I think I probably got from Emily Lay. Then this little Hello Kitty head here is something that came in a Sanrio loot crate that was part of the Hello Sanrio and it actually had a bunch of different characters on maybe a pair of headphones. Um, so it was on the like cord of the headphones but the headphones were kind of cheap and crap but these little heads are so cute. So I attached the head that's supposed to go through the cord and put it on this paper clip and that we'll see if it stays hopefully I don't lose it but it's super cute there for now I also have a few little die cuts that I bought from coffee monsters co and you guys this is one of my favorite new purchases I got a couple of things from her shop so I'll show you both of them this is from a planned design on Etsy and I love this so you can do a custom name or custom word so you could do your word of the year or you could do your own name and it comes like on this really heavy cardstock kind of it's it's heavier than cardstock so it's really heavy backing and then you can choose your glitter color and your background color and so I got this pretty pink color and look how perfectly it matches with this planner it's just like absolutely perfect and if you can see it has some glitter 
accents to it and it's just perfectly done it's really really well made quality and I highly recommend her shop um, so go check that out I will link to her down below another thing that I got from her shop was this cute little charm that has the big paper clip and then the black bow charm with a like a gemstone on it and it's gold on the backing and I really feel like you can't find enough of these charms that hang down and I just think it looks super cute down here. So it just kind of hangs and dangles down on the planner. So that's another little cute thing. She had more stuff, so I might go back. I might actually go back and get a few more of these things as well that say different things. Like, I don't know, my word of the year is whole. So maybe getting the word whole or I don't know, just some things I'm thinking about. Love her shop. That's a new discovery to me. So definitely go check her out. Tucked in away back here, I also have a little like freebie sampler page from Wonton in a Million. So I just kind of put that there. So some of the little guys are hanging out. Then I also have a little Hello Kitty piece of note paper here where you can see her name and that just pulls in the pink and red I think again then I also have this really cute Hello Kitty Wonder Woman I got this a few years ago I think this is from the crafty mail and I love this little Hello Kitty Wonder Woman and it's got the red in it so I had to include her then to bring in more of the gold color I can't actually pull it out very easily but I've got oh there it goes I've got just this little gold hexagon here that is kind of cute and it brings in the, the glitter, I think. Then this let whoever think whatever, you are exactly where you need to be, is from the Planner Press digital dash box. So I printed it out. It's a, one of the quote cards. I printed it out with a little bit of extra space on the bottom so that I could slip it into this pocket. And then I just put a couple red hearts on there and I think that turned out really cute. Up here, I have a little Lucky Cat from a set of, of um, sticky notes that I got at a Japanese uh, stationery store in LA when I was there last year. This little holograph bow, I'm not sure where that came from. That was maybe like a Heidi Swap thing from clearance again at Tuesday morning. If you have a Tuesday morning near you, that's a great place to find clearance stuff because something like this with, I think there were like five or six bows on there or this you can get for like 50 cents if you really look through the clearance. So I used to live close to a Tuesday morning. So like every Tuesday morning, I would just go and look for it. So this isn't gonna come out easily. So I'm just gonna leave it there. But I have another little like metal paper clip that says Hello Kitty, has a Hello Kitty on it and says love. Then this was a gift and I can't remember which shop this came from, but this was a gift from a subscriber. And I think the even though this is a little bit of a peachy pink, when you put it inside, I think it matches pretty well. So I've been putting this in my planner. It's so, so cute. Um, if you remember which shop this came from, you can link it down below. I think if you go and look through my other um, setup from last month, I think I linked to the store. Then this is just some washi strip, but I loved the little... Um, Hello Kitty dots there, the polka dots. I really love polka dots pretty much always, so it was perfect. Then I also have another little quote card that says, be you, do you, for you, and you can't really see it super great, but I do like the stripes kind of poking in behind the Hello Kitty, so that's sitting there as well. And then I have a Simply Gilded washi card that actually underneath all of this stuff, you can't really see it from here, has a bunch of butterflies on it. So it seemed really nice. Plus it, I think it kind of draws in, it's not pink and it's not, it's not the light pink, but it's not red. So it's kind of a transitional color, if you will. So I put some of my Hello Kitty washi tapes, some Simply Gilded and just some gold washi tape there for decoration, but I'll probably use it throughout the month as well. And then finally, I just have this cute little Hello Kitty. This this again is something I probably got at the Sanrio store. It says 2013. So this is years ago. So when you guys see my setups, it's not like I just went and bought all of this stuff. Most of these things are things other than like, you know, this, which is new or a few other little accents. A lot of these things are things that I've had in my collection for sometimes 7, 10, 12 years um, since I've been planning. So um, that's why I have so much, but I thought it was so cute because it, it, has this zipper here and I thought it'd be kind of cute with her little expression for her to be kind of poking out of there with the little lips. So that is the front of the planner and that's what I have set up here. Then as we move into the actual setup of the planner, I have this don't be like the rest of them with the Yves Saint Laurent um, bag, which I love this bag. <laughs> 
I really would love to collect designer bags, but they're so expensive. So I will just look at other people's collections. And I know that these are also some, they might be YSL shoes as well. And I know that I saw a few YouTubers like Belinda Celine talking about some dupes of these, but they're so beautiful. But those shoes are probably like four or $500 at the least. So they're so cute though. And I love that she included them in this design. And like always, if you're not familiar with the Planner Press digital dash box, she always includes different skin tones too. So you've got maybe three or four different skin and hair color tones to choose from if you want to mix it up. So that's always nice. In the back side, I put the little um, tortoise shell kind of glasses. And then I also found a little sheet from maybe Heidi Swap or something like that that had a bunch of stickers. This was just like in my collection from again years ago that had little words on it. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna use those in my photos and here on the um, dashboards. So then I've got some other little Hello Kitty. These again are little booklets of sticky notes that my friend brought to me from Korea, which you'll see some of these things. She bought me like $100 worth of stuff from Korea. And so you'll see some of this stuff like pop out, pop up here and there, like in my notebook challenge this month and now here in this um, setup. So I've just pulled a few off, glued, put some little adhesive, removable adhesive onto the very back piece of it so that you don't have to like take all of them off. That's how I keep using them over and over as you know, you only need like two or three and at most throughout the month, I'm going to use one or two. So I just put them on the back of this laminated sheet and that's great. I've also had this little Tokidoki Unicorno set of sticky notes for a very long time. So again, I just pull like two or three off and stick them back here so that I can use them throughout the month. The tabs that I'm using again this month are from the planner press store not the digital dash box so these are like um, plastic heavy plastic dividers she did actually have some very simple side tabs that you could print in the digital dash box this month but i just didn't feel like going through the process of printing those out so i just used ones that i already had so this first section in my planner i have all these pictures of the family with this little sticker i added to it this is much love and then i added this is my story to the back here this page that says be in love with your life every minute of it came from the original like actual pages in this planner. So like I said, when I bought it, it was still like in the plastic and everything and it still had all the inserts. So I took out most of the inserts, but I did leave a few little pages here at the front. So this one was one of them. Then also just this pink lined pages was in there. Oops, I've got this right, right in the middle. Then I also have the tabs i probably won't use those too much the ones that are already there but i figured i might use these in my planning and then this of course came with it look at the dragonfly i'm like that's going to be my most coveted one sticker i wish one of these bigger stickers had a dragonfly on it too but they don't so i'm gonna just kind of enjoy that i don't know if i'll actually use it but these stickers came out of the original setup then here in this front part i have a little bit of my HB90 planner kind of scattered, scattered throughout. So I have the 2020 overview and I have behind it the 2021 overview. I do have um, this little paper clip as well that is, again, I can't remember. I know this was a Tuesday morning buy though, and it has a little camera on it, if you can see that. Then I also have another one um, toward the back. And these came from a Mickey Mouse setup. Um, but I can't remember if it was Heidi Swap or, you know, one of those kind of planner companies. So this is the notes pages that come with my HB90 planner. These are from Carpe Diem. And then I also have a little ruler that came out of one of the Michael's Recollections planners. And then I have some more um, Carpe Diem or Webster's pages. Okay, these are Webster's pages with the little pineapple on it that says, be the best version of you. So these are just kind of a yearly overview with a place to make lists or leave notes. And this section, I'll use a page, pull it out, and then I'll add new blank pages at the beginning of every month. These vellum sheets that you'll see throughout, you've seen them before if you've followed my setups, they're from Planner Press. Then I also have this from Carpe Diem that is just a, like a floral couple of pencils here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write my energy chart on here. So I'll show you that kind of here at the back, but I'm gonna write it on here as well. 
Then we have the monthly tab and another one of the digital dash box images. And this one you can't see so much, but it's kind of a woman slumped over all of her designer books. You'll see it in another one of the covers. But then I have a bunch of sticky notes on the back. I can link to where I got this, but I actually downloaded and put this little A5 pull out of the year in my planner last month and didn't end up using it because I've got some decisions that need to be made. And what I want to use this for, and of course now we're into July, so this will be the back half of the year. What I want to use this for is like planning out my biggest events. Like when is my planner coming out? When is my course launching? When are my books coming out? So that I can see just at a glance in my planner what events are coming up and what I need to make sure that I've got you know planned plans for and so on so what I love about it too is that because it's pulled out like this you get three months per kind of fold so right here as I open this I can see q3 just right here so I know for example I think it's June 6 July 16th my publish and thrive course will open for enrollment and then we'll, we're starting I think on the third but I need to put all those dates in so that I can sort of plan ahead when are my live videos and just kind of make this a master mini calendar and I can do that on the edges. And then I also wanna keep track of my daily word count in here. So hopefully you'll actually see this used when I come back for my August setup. I have another quote. This was from the Q1 planner, cheers to a new year. And then I have the monthly spreads. So I've mentioned this before, but I don't actually usually plan a lot out in my monthly spread. So I haven't been using this terribly much unless I want to reference a date, which I could just as easily do on the yearly calendar. So I don't know if I'm going to take these out or if I just need to get better about using them. But recently, I haven't really been using the monthly spreads in this particular planner, but they're all here. I've already decorated a little bit for the rest of the year, but I haven't actually put anything on them. So we'll see if I end up needing that section or not. So then I have another tab here that says weekly, and then it has another vellum. I'm too creative for nine to five with, you'll see those same eyeglasses. And on the back, I have another, um, this, this is the image with her, her with the shoes. Then I took this truth bomb from Daniel Laporte that says redefine what you think is possible because I'm really working on therapy and in therapy and just in general in my life and my journaling and stuff, I'm working on a lot of limiting beliefs and starting to understand and identify things that I know have been holding me back. So this seemed like a really good truth bomb to just put in here with a little bit of Coffee Monsters Co. and Simply Gilded washi tape. This uh, little drawing here, I've mentioned it before, but she hasn't been in my planner for a few months, but it was time for her to come back. This is my little ass kicker sweetie where she has her hair and pigtails like I always used to wear them and a giant boot getting kicked in your face because my husband drew this for me at, and he called her he used to say that I have evil sweetie and ass kicker sweetie and it's just a matter of who do I want to be and evil sweetie is always putting me down and being really negative but ass kicker sweetie is the one who gets stuff done and I feel like in my life over the last five years or so, I've really been embodying Ask Kicker Sweetie and I want to keep her going and get rid of Evil Sweetie, Sweetie and all of the negative things that come into my mind. So she needed to make a comeback in this month's planner setup. This Don't Quit Your Daydreams here is also from Carpe Diem. And then um, these little post-it notes, again, I've mentioned this before, but this is one of the things I love about the digital dash box is that she gives you a template and as long as you have white or you could really print them on any color, but they look best on white, post-it notes, you can print them out just here at home. So I've got my little glasses and I feel like those will be good for just about any month's setup. Then I've got some more little stickies. Then another thing I added to my planner is a vision board. So I made this vision board inside GoodNotes and I have only had an iPad, well I've almost had it actually a year now, but I wasn't really using my iPad a ton other than like my son FaceTiming or playing a few little games on there, but I've started getting into using GoodNotes and I started realizing that I could actually 
import images into good notes and sort of crop around them like i've done with some of these and create a vision board there i don't know for sure that good notes is probably the best app to use on an ipad but i had fun using it to create my vision board then i have some more little hello kitty stickies and actually these little stickies are transparent so you can see through them so you can put them over stuff i can't remember where i got these but these were on clearance maybe at office depot and they're kind of like a plastic you can actually write on them with a sharpie or with a dry erase marker, but you can see through them, which I think is kind of cool for putting on certain things. Then I have this folder. This comes from a digital dash box last summer. I think June of 2019 is where this one comes from. And I've just been using the folder to hold a bunch of my stickers, like some of these that I love from Sparkle and Shine Designs. Obviously my favorite planner shop right now, which is Procrasta Planner. She has a bunch of stickers that are uh, HB90 related, but also some other functional ones like these YouTube live stickers, which you can see I use a lot because I go live on YouTube three times a week. So I've got all of those most used stickers in here and the ones that are kind of like too big to go in that um, this thing here. Then I have just a few little things on the back, some more of those uh, stickies that came out of that Japanese shop, a little sticky that says important, every moment counts with my kids here, and this is the day Evie was born. Well, the, some of it and some of it wasn't. Then we've got a Carpe Diem card that says hello, which is so cute, and then a Kiki K vision board card that says there are so many reasons, beautiful reasons to be happy. Then this next section is all of my, like this is the part of the planner that I use the most. So this is all of my HB90 weekly planner, weekly slash daily. So I have tasks dashboard where I plan the week. Then I have the actual weekly spreads and you can see some of these favorite stickers in, um, in action here. If you want to see more of me actually like planning out the week, I, I haven't done any like plan with me's, but I might start doing Sunday plan with me's over on Instagram. But I do a morning coffee chat where I kind of step through my day, talk about how my Kanban board is going and that sort of thing. So if you're interested in the HB90 system or you want to see kind of how I actually use this planner on a daily basis, come follow me over on Instagram. And every morning around 9, 9 a.m. Eastern, I post a few minutes of a coffee chat over there. So you can see how I have my weeks and everything here. So I've just actually printed out and put in here the rest of July. So I tend to only keep one month in my planner at a time. So I just put a new quote on the back of this page. And then this is what I'll be using to plan later today, which is the week two of the quarter or July 6th through 12th. So I will be planning this hopefully this afternoon. But if you guys want to see actual like weekly plan with me to see how everything comes together between the weekly dashboard and the actual weekly plan versus the daily pages, then I would be happy to do that. Maybe I would do it on Instagram, but also here on YouTube. So come follow me over there as well, but comment below if you want to see that. So these pages just take us all the way through the weekly review at the end of August. So this takes me through August 2nd. And then when I get to the end of this, I will print out the other pages. I will take these pages out and I just keep them in a spare binder for the rest of the year at least. And then once the year is over, I usually put one of those big clips on them, take them out of the binder, put a big clip on them, and then I put them in a box and I keep them for several years just for reference purposes for tax purposes i used to throw them out then i used to keep them longer now i've kind of started keeping them again um, just in case something comes up with taxes or you know whatever else and i need to prove like that i had planned these things i don't know my accountant said it's best to keep them so i will keep them then I have this laminated key that I created just out of cardstock that has my color code for my time tracking. So you'll see all these little dots are also what I've been using in my daily planning. So I have a color code and then I also have a little um, pocket on the back here that has basically this came out of the target dollar spot during back to school last year. So 
we're getting close to back to school again. So start checking your target dollar spot for these little pockets. They're only like a dollar for a bunch of them and you can use them to stick stickers in. You could put them on your bulletin board. There's a lot of uses for these in your planner and so on. Then I also printed out all of these little dots. I can link to the shop that I used for these dots but I did have to, like she doesn't have just a whole sheet of each color. It was like sheets with a bunch of different colors and I chose the colors that I wanted to use for my color key. And then I manipulated them inside my Cricut design space so that I could create sheets that would be just the right size to fit in this little pocket. So it took a little bit of time, but now that it's set up in Cricut Design Space, they fit perfectly. And I love this because then I don't have to go searching for my color code and they're all here. This is part of my overall time tracking system that I am using in my get ahead plan. So I'm using this in conjunction also with my Franken planner, my Erin Condren planner to track my time. So I will be kind of doing an update of that sometime this quarter. Then I have another one of those little pockets back here with a picture of my son back when he was only like three. And I just love that expression. It makes me laugh. And then also I've got these little washi strips that I got from Amazon that are nice and colorful that look nice here. They fit nice in that pocket and they're useful throughout the month. Another dashboard is why fit in when you were born to stand out with a little relaxing candle on the back. <laughs> and these are some more of the post-it notes that are from previous digital dash boxes, a little Hello Kitty sheet that's really more like it came off of a notebook and I just punched it, it's more decorative. Then I have kind of the bane of my existence that I keep mentioning but I haven't had time to work on which is my social media planner. So this is a planner for all my social media stuff for heart breathings. And I have been using it myself, but it's just not, the design isn't exactly functional the way that I want it to be. So I'm still continuing to work on it. So I track on this tab. So I just recently picked up these little tabs from Avery and there's a pink one, a green one and a purple one in the pack so that I could more easily find my social media planners. So I've got the social media planner for Sarah Cannon here along with things like some of my book covers, some of my, this is my like Hogwarts library card from Copper Boom Studios, but I haven't started filling it out for this year, even though I've read many books so far in 2020. So I need to get on that. Then a little note about my social media content buckets another vellum from Planner Press, and then another tab. Then we have another one of the dashboards. This is a better look at the girls over the stack of books. And then this was another one that says authentic and it has the stack of books with the shoes. And then we have my social media planner for heart breathing. So I have, because I have two sets of social media and things like that, I keep two in my planner. So. That is that. We're almost done. This is just stats from last year. Then another one of the dashboards this month, Girl You Need to Calm the F Down is the name of the candle, which I thought was cute. And then some more sticky notes, more book covers, and a kind of drawing that I did last year of my ideal life. And I love this particular drawing because even though you can't really see it and I don't want to give it in too much in detail, it was me standing here with a baby. And when I made that picture, we had had a miscarriage and we were going through a hard time, but I was like, I still believe that I'm going to have a baby. And I drew that picture and then the next day found out I was pregnant. So it was just like, ah, oh, manifesting, but really just like a beautiful coincidence of drawing that and really dreaming about it and then finding out the next day that part of that dream was becoming a reality. And then I just have this little Life's Better Buzzed, which is the final dashboard in this month's dash box. It's kind of holding onto the back so that the rings don't damage the fabric in the back. Then this pretty pad of paper that kind of has the peachy color with the red butterfly is from this planner. So it came with the planner. And what I've created here is an energy chart. So part of my goals this quarter for goal three of the quarter is to raise my energy level. And so this 
month I'm or this quarter I'm doing a point system so if I exercise I get a point if I journal I get a point if I meditate I get a point so I can get up to 10 points a day or bonus points if I do therapy that day because I feel like on therapy days I need a little bit of extra like credit for showing up for myself um, and this is really all about my mental health and making sure that my energy stays good that I'm in a place of positive momentum that I'm doing things like exercise eating well meditating having gaming or fun quality time with the kids like all of this stuff is part of what helps me to create and to be a better writer to be a better mom to be a better you know youtuber even so this is super important to me and I'm excited about how this is going to play out throughout the year um, throughout the quarter and if you're interested in seeing more of a breakdown of this I did talk about it some in my IG story so another reason to come follow me there but I can also do a video on how this energy chart works and how the how I'm tracking the goal if you'd like to see it in more detail but long setup video but hey we deserve a longer setup video for the favorite planner that I've ever had who knows maybe I'll stay in this one for a couple of months because I won't be able to bear to leave it and just set it up with new insides. I don't know, but let me know in the comments what you think of this one. And I absolutely am in love with it. Be sure to go check out the store, a plan to design. I am not an affiliate for any of these shops or anything like that, like planner press or anything. I just talk about products that I really truly love. So go check out these cute clips from a planned design, like this little dangle clip. If you like to print your own stuff out, Digital Dashbox is great because she has lots of different sizes and I love it. It's been such a great way to set up my planner every single month. And that's all I have for you guys. Oh my gosh, we are starting a series of videos coming up this week about how to write a series. So if you are a writer, you need to subscribe right now. We're gonna have a really great time talking about how to write a series. And um, I can't wait to share that with you. If you've enjoyed this planner setup and want to see more plan with me's, go ahead and comment down below. Be sure to leave me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.